having the courage to develop new ideas while taking informed risks and learning from our successes and failures to create a better future are central to Bell & Health's value of innovation. During the past year, Lori Pazchek, a team facilitator for Urgent Care, set up Bellin's first respiratory clinic, developed innovative COVID testing for patients, and quickly moved clinics around as the pandemic created ever-changing and increasing needs for patient care. That is why she is the winner of the Individual Values and in Practice Award for Innovation. Over the course of 2020, I feel like I was challenged with having to stay on top of the changes with COVID. Um, literally things would change by the hour at times and so I feel like the role I played was keeping all of the staff up to date with those changes and making sure that everybody understood um, what work needed to be done. Lori was um, asked to do a lot of shifting in our department on very short notice. We're asked to put a whole new clinic together from um, just our basic urgent care to a respiratory clinic in two days time and and that was in a whole different um, building. So she took the Bellevue urgent care, moved it over to West De Pere and had to have West De Pere clinic a new location. Um, so she brought Bellevue urgent care over to West De Pere. Eventually West De Pere needed their own clinic back. So she moved the respiratory clinic over to back over to Bellevue Urgent Care. And then Bellevue Urgent Care became too small. So then again needed to move it over here to Ashwabanan. So she had multiple moves. She never complained. She always was able to find a solution and a way to say yes to whatever they were asking her. When we were at West Pier, one of the things that they tasked us with is figuring out a way to do COVID testing on patients without actually bringing them into the building. So we actually just set up a little window right out of the waiting room and had people walk up to the window and do testing. So then we put up a tent and utilized a tent. Um, and then with the elements, our tent started blowing down and we had to come up with another alternative. So then we ended up getting a trailer to work out of and actually started more of a drive-through process. So it was always just evaluating what location we're in, um, how are we providing this care and can we provide this care in this location and coming up with new ideas dependent on where we were. Lori never showed any stress and she has great leadership skills in the way that she was had the ability to bring that all together and then to get her team ready and we never felt we never felt uh, unprepared. I think what kept me going was knowing that I had to take care of the team. You know, I wasn't necessarily involved in all of the direct patient care, so I felt like I had to take care of my team, knowing that if I took care of them, they would take care of our patients. Congratulations, Lori. You really deserve this award. Lori, congratulations on winning the VIP award. You are very well deserving of this award and I feel honored to be able to work with you. I just wanna say thank you to everybody in the respiratory clinic that I worked with last year in 2020 and all that we accomplished um, throughout the year. And I wanna say thank you to my husband, my kids, my mom and dad, um, for being there for me and showing support last year, um, knowing how much I was trying to make this work and getting this job done.